Do y'all think it's a boss pack? Well, well, well. You can flip them over. I wouldn't suggest doing this on the first day because baby, they tight. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Um, if you guys want to see exactly how I achieve these jumbo passion twists is what I am calling them for today's video, then make sure you go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also turn on your push notifications just in case YouTube don't notify you when a girly posts. If you don't know, I post Sundays and Wednesdays at noon. So yeah, check in. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the products that you will be needing for today's style. You only need a couple of things. Of course, you're gonna need some shine and jam that comes in handy when it comes to parting. You're gonna need a crochet needle and you're also gonna need, um, you know, some clips and a rat tail going for parting. You're also gonna need some finishing oil. I am going to use some rosemary oil today because I want to really stimulate my scalp with these twists in. And then you're also going to need some rubber bands. I have saturated my rubber bands in oil so they can just glide onto my hair and I get stuck and prevent. As, we're going to try to prevent as much damage as we can with these goddamn rubber bands because I don't like rubber bands. And then the last thing you're going to need is your hair. This is the hair that I will be using. I love it. It's in 20 inches and it's a three pack jumbo. So, um, I'm telling you now, I use three packs of hair. I use three packs of hair, okay? Because y'all be in the comments asking that question over and over again, and I always tell y'all in every single video. So, I use three packs of hair, one of those tricks, okay? I have this rack from Amazon and I've already sectioned out. The hair is already sectioned, but I basically like plucked out the ends because they be real like coiled up within one another and we don't have time for that. So let's get started. I actually already got started. I did have my hair last night, okay? So when I take this bonnet down, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Boom, we got the Felicia's in the front. And then we got the locks in the back. These are not locks, excuse me. Jumbo passion twists, whatever kind of twist you want to call them. Okay. This is what they look like. Not sure if you can see the parts, but I tried to do my S. I love the length that they ended up being. Now my little cut trying to poke out. Um, and I love the thickness and everything. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to section out my hair. I'm going to section out the rest of my head because when you section out your hair in the beginning, it makes the process 10 times easier. And FYI, I'm doing this style on freshly washed hair, um, freshly broke, freshly blow dried hair. My hair smells so stinking good. Love that for me. And um, these are jumbo twists, so I'm going to do jumbo parts. I can't do no parts without shining jam. This is my best friend. And I'm just going to flow through this process because it's really self-explanatory. Do y'all think it's a ball spot? Well, well, well. I know, I know. I know I look crazy, but baby, keep 
just see the vision with me okay so now that you got your parting all situated and together using the rubber band method i'm gonna go ahead and just put this one up in a hair tie so we can stay out of my face and stay out of my way fun fact very important part of this process when you are doing the rubber band method you want to slide the rubber band down just a little bit so you can have more room to put your crochet needle through without hurting yourself so first things first this is what one portion one section of hair looks like i always pull it through so my two fingers are like this okay this is this is going to help you clamp it onto the crochet needle boom get your needle and go underneath the rubber band you see how that easily slid through when it didn't scrape the shit out of my scalp yeah that's because i pulled the rubber band first and then i hope you guys can see this um all you're gonna do is open the latch first off <coughs> if you need to crochet you open the latch you put your hair onto the latch you close the latch, you pull it through. As soon as it's through, you pull it down. Easy peasy, let me squeeze you, okay? So now I'm gonna make sure that the portions are even, bada bing, bada boom, great. And now what I'm gonna do is pull out a section from the back. If you're anything like me, you hate when people do the rubber band method and you can see the rubber bands at the top. I could throw up, okay? We don't want that. So this is what this small portion is for. You're gonna take it in here. Listen closely, boo-boo. You're gonna wrap away from your face, okay? If you wanna make sure that these twists do not unravel on you, you don't see the rubber bands, you don't have no problems, your head not sticking through, you have to pay attention to the way and the directions that I'm wrapping. So the little section, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna wrap it around the rubber band at the base of my head away from my face i'm putting it backwards and i'm gonna do that three times one a two a three okay i'm done what was that off of i think that was like a tootsie roll tootsie roll pop i don't know anyways now that i have that done you see how it uh easily covered my rubber band Left that for us, and now I'm gonna put the section back with the rest of the hair. Boom. Now you wanna separate your real hair and the added hair into two parts because obviously we are doing a twist. Now you should have something that looks like this. This is where your shining jam is gonna come into play. I'm gonna get a lot of it and I'm going to rub it onto the base of my hair and I'm gonna start twisting towards my face, okay? I'm gonna twist forward doing this part. So once you have the shiny jam on the base, you're gonna twist forward. One, two, three. Once you twist that, you're gonna put it to the back. And you're gonna pull this section to the front. You're gonna get your shiny jam. You're gonna coat the base. You still gotta hold on to the section. So be prepared to do a lot of twisting and a lot of holding. And now I'm gonna twist this section. One, a two, a three. And now I'm going to start twisting. And I'm going to twist to the back, okay? So I'm still twisting with my wrist. I'm doing a flick of the wrist motion, but I'm twisting to the back of my head. Flick of the wrist, twist backwards. Flick of the wrist, twist backwards. This is going to ensure that your twists don't unravel. If you don't do the flick of the wrist, baby, they won't unravel. Simple, okay? Simple. As I'm approaching the ends of my hair, you're gonna get more shiny jam. You see that little piece of scraggly? Yeah, girl, cover that. That is gonna make sure your natural hair does not peek through the twist, okay? Now, as I'm starting to reach the ends, I want these to be I want these twists to be nice and big and jumbo. So I am going to add a second piece of hair. And in order to add it, I'm just going to have the hair folded. And I'm going to place it directly on top while still holding all the hair together. And then I'm going to continue to twist forward and twist backwards. Doing a flick of the wrist towards my face, but I'm twisting to the back of my face. You feel me? And since I like my hair to touch my asshole, I am going to add yet another piece. I add three pieces of hair per section, which is why I needed 
three packs of hair if you don't want your hair to be if you want to stop at titty length you only need two uh if you want to do them real short you probably only need one twist i mean one section of hair per twist but yeah same process add an extra hair continue to twist all the way down okay now when i have about let's say maybe three to four inches left of the hair i am going to seal the ends the way i like to seal the ends is i take my end of the twist and i flip it upwards it's going to create something that looks like this see it and then i'm going to wrap towards the back away from my face just gonna wrap these little straggly ends and I'm gonna wrap upwards. I'm gonna wrap up the twist. And as you can see, we're gonna have something that looks like that. It kind of reminds you of how you uh, end locks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is gonna make sure that your twist is stiff at the end so they can lay flat behind your back, behind your butt, wherever your hair lays at. And I just like to keep twisting the hair until I run out. And then I palm roll it just a little bit. And basically that's just going to help the twist stay flat and lay without looking crazy. Because sometimes when you twist hair, you know, they start to point in crazy directions. No, we want them to be nice and sleek from beginning to end. We're about to slay. I know, I know. I know. Self-control is never being a thing Don't think it a help there's a ring with a rod Where I'm from, they start to sow the things You come from a city where there's things with the rods How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you going freaking what's the beat going? How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places don't go cheap you see how this one is like sticking up a little bit i wanted them to lay flatter so i am taking one section and i'm splitting it into two i'm still using three sections but it's just going to be like one and a half instead of three full pieces if that makes any sense so take one please split it into two use that one for your first and your second and then take another one split it and use that half as your third um so they can lay flat like this one you see how that looks so nice yes nice and flat that's what we want boom so they are all done my hair looks nice and full they look nice and jumbo they're nice and long they're nice and soft like i know i'm gonna sleep well and that matters a lot to me. The last step is to do my edges. I'll be using the Style Factor Edge Booster. This is a maximum hold. I love. So that's what we need. Um, and y'all know whenever I do my edges, I don't do them the same way each time. It really depends on how I feel. I left minimal baby hairs out because um, whenever I leave too many hairs out, when I'm doing a new style, the style tends to get old quicker. And then I just take my edge brush and I like the curly look or whatever. This style did not take long to do at all. Um, Usually what I like to do at the end while I'm like doing my baby hair so y'all not sitting in silence is to answer some frequently asked questions. So once again, I used three packs of hair. Um, I have some hair left over. These these packs of hair also cost ten dollars a pack from my local beauty supply um i will try to find y'all the links um and link them down below on my amazon storefront so you guys can just shop there and you don't gotta worry about going to the style if you don't feel like it um and y'all know i get a little cute percentage when y'all shop my amazon storefront so yeah and just in case the girlies didn't know um i'll also try to find like the rest of the products that i use i'll basically do like a braiding braid slash twist essentials kit so you guys can always refer to that whenever i do a new style because i do protective styles all the time 
I did half my hair yesterday and then I ran out of hair. I probably started around four, ended at seven. So I would say about five hours because I was flying through the front of my head. The hardest part of doing this style is putting your head in the parts. I'm sleeping a big bone on it. It looks like ooh, it looks like this with the strings attached to it. And this style will last you however long you want it to last. Feel me? If you take care of your hair every night, it should last you a really long time. Like this style can probably last you almost up to a freaking month. Cause they really resemble locks for real, for real. If you sleep with your hair protected, you oil your scalp all the time, and, and you can easily take them out and redo your front. So they always look fresh. You flip them over, like they're real soft. So you could put them over to one side. I wouldn't suggest doing this on the first day because baby, they tight. <sighs> yeah, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, that basically wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your push notifications, like I said in the beginning. Um, Give me some tips on what to do in my next tutorial, how to show you guys. Give me another example of a style that you guys want me to do. Um, If you know the actual name of this style, please comment down below. Because I'm just calling them passion twists. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye mamas. Uh, yeah.